Happy New Year everyone! It's the first day of 2024. It's exactly 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we rang in the new year just an hour ago. So uh, yeah, I guess you can call this the, uh, the first few hours of this brand new year. And it is extremely busy. As you guys can see, every street is literally packed with hundreds of cars. Like, like who the hell wants to even drive in this shit? It's just dangerous. You'll be stuck there for hours and hours. I just got off a streetcar after being stuck on it for like 15, 20 minutes. Cause I was with um, some, I was with some friends who are YouTubers. And uh, we parted ways as friends in Bathurst, and I decided to walk to Spadina to catch the streetcar to Union because I've been out like freezing my ass off for like four and a half hours. Like my fingers were slightly numb. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, like I'm fine now, but uh, I've, I've been ready to get home. So uh, we're walking east here along Bremner Boulevard. We're gonna pass by the Sky Dome here, and oh shit, it's icy. Or is it my shoes? Because I've been walking on ice and snow. Yes, it was snowing for much of the time I've been out. And uh, I have never been out this late before. Like, I've never even, I have never been out literally at 1, 1 a.m. Last time I was out past midnight was, uh, was uh, during Nuit Blanche back in October, back in September, but this is just different. It's New Year's. I mean, everyone is everyone is getting drunk, celebrating with their friends, and I I caught a lot of footage, uh, mostly with the iPhone, because it was just it was just snowing hard. So, uh, and of course, I, again, I didn't. I really did not want to uh, damage the camera, and again, again the phone is waterproof. I forgot to even mention. So I'm gonna have to edit uh, probably later today. I am starting to get kind of tired. So just to beat all of this traffic, we we're gonna walk to Union Station, the first walking video of 2024. Hoping we, and hopefully uh, this is the year line five and six open. I'm very confident it'll be Oh yeah, we just went around downtown. Oh my god, Young and Dundas Square. Obviously the harbor front was extremely packed. It's the first time I've been out on New Year's. And we saw the fireworks from uh, the uh, music garden at the western end of the waterfront. Fireworks are, eh, they're all right. But again, I had to contend with all that snow, so I probably may not get home until at least 1.45. Then I might just jump into bed. But yeah, we said goodbye to a pretty good 2023. And hoping for a lot better things this year. As we're, as we're now on the first day of the year. Also the first day of January. My birthday's in three weeks actually. This is the third time this winter season we got snow. And we haven't really been getting much. But yeah, what a fun night it's been. We also met up with uh, Johnny Strides and the Ken Continuum. They went like, they they went like to a different part of the waterfront. We wanted to go where Henry uh, wanted to go. So again, I got to be careful here because it's slightly icy. And I wanted to get in through the the, uh, the the quickest entrance to Union Station, probably like right probably like right next to Scotiabank Arena. Oh, and there's the CN Tower, slid up in red and green. <laughs> Ironically, the Christmas colors, but the holidays are over. Everybody, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and keep my voice low, but. Everybody's gotta go back to work tomorrow. 
Well, I mean, I don't have I don't have to go back to school until uh, a week from today. And as I said last year, it went by so fast. 2024 might as well be the same thing. It just feels like yesterday, like it was the first day of 2023, and now here and now here we freaking are. And I really cannot thank you guys enough for the humongous support, new subscribers, uh, your comments, donations. I'm, I am glad. I'm, all, I'm also glad to have met a lot of people who have the same hobby and interest as me. I love doing what I do. Look at these balloons here. Yeah, there's Cousin Emily's favorite place, the aquarium. Most of the people we've all been seeing here are, are Indians. And that's not surprising because Ontario has a huge population of Indians that immigrated from the other side of the world. However, most of these people are just, uh, are just like students, like in college or university. But I still, I still saw a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, diverse ethnicities around. So I mean, I mean, it's Toronto. Of course, you're gonna see. Oh look, someone's shooting fireworks from here, right at the John Street Roundhouse. Here's Cinco Street. We were walking by there uh, over. Uh, an hour and a half ago, as we were trying to speed walk to the uh, the music gardens. Whew. I forgot to mention, it might be in the negative zone right now. Let's see. Man, I've been wet all evening. Much of my stuff too. Yep, minus one, feels like minus eight. Light snow is gonna continue on throughout the whole night. We're approaching the South Core District. <laughs> I actually had a very minor headache. Uh, like in the daytime, but after taking a shower, resting, and eating a couple of snacks, I fully recovered. I really thought it was gonna affect me the whole evening, and then, oh! I'm gonna try not to look back here. And again, sorry for the half ass footage, I am not perfect with the camera at all. I am no freaking journalist or whatever. Go home. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for all you drivers. You just choose to like come downtown and and uh, and cause gridlock on our streets. Like, look, look at this shit here. Like, like who wants to be doing that? It's a good thing that they made the TTC and Go Transit free. Right, get us all home safely, but of course we still gotta be aware of, uh, of, of uh, you know, drunk drivers. Shit, Richard just called me. I, I actually called him uh, while I was on, uh, while I was on the streetcar. Call me back and missed it. Let me just, uh, let me just uh, give him a quick call here. <laughs> and no answer. Jesus. Yeah, sorry, sorry for missing your call, but it's just so much noise and chaos. Let me try again here.
Damn it. All right, we are almost there, guys. We are almost there. I can smell the warmth. Guys, it's now, uh, I think it's around 110. Oh yeah, this is the first time I've been out ever at this hour. Especially filming a video. You know, we're such a big city, of course, all of us, we're, we're gonna go, go all batshit crazy and stuff. That's exactly what we saw. But please, for the love of God, do not drink and drive. I hope you know, I hope you're not doing that, but unfortunately, there's probably gonna be 10 people or more doing that. Breaking the rules and risking one's safety. All right, here's the York Street. Scotiabank Arena, the Raptors are playing here tonight. Well, technically tomorrow night. And there's a uh, entrance to the train station. Uh, just off on uh, the left side. What is this guy doing? He's not. It's not a traffic cop. I see a lot of people with uh, digital cameras uh, out. I mean, other than that, it's like I've only, like I've been out for a short while past midnight, and I've also been out to, uh, like 2 a.m. Well, two all the way to five, so I could definitely do that again. But yeah, I'm a little bit. For some reason, like I'm not very white out. I might as well be when I get on the subway. In fact, I might even make a I might even make a video showing the post the post uh, New Year's Eve crowd on the subway. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be dead tired by the time I wake up at let's say what 12 midnight. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, this is lo this is much better than just having to like get ha just having to like being trapped on the freaking streetcar. Oh my god, literally would just take you 25 minutes just going at a snail's pace. That's what it's like when you're taking the streetcar. I mean, it's a nice, it's a fun way to get around, but uh, it is just very slow, especially during major events and New Year's, of course. Okay, there's two ways. I could go through, oh yeah, well, I mean, they both lead to Scotiabank Arena anyway, so what, I mean, what choice do we have? All right, well, I guess we'll keep filming here. Ah, finally in the warmth. Also, I have a bottle of water in my bag, which I haven't even used. I'm not even that thirsty, to be honest, but I might as well. All right, we gotta go to the subway here. Oh, shit. I just really hate it for the fact that it even snowed. I mean, I was aware, but... All right, I think I'm gonna have to give this camera a rest and like let it dry. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching the very first walking video, or actually the first video I filmed all together in 2024. All the best in the new year. Looking forward to bringing you guys some great content moving forward. Stay safe, take care, adios, and bye-bye.
Man, it just fogs out like every second.